Dear Earth 2 players and community, welcome to the first installment of our developer blog, where we'll be providing periodic updates and insight into parts of key technical developments that segments of our engineering team have been focusing on and prototyping. These vlogs will be confined to progress on developments we're comfortable with becoming public and for confidentiality reasons may not accurately reflect what our team is actively working on at the point in time the vlog is published. While some of these topics may reflect work in progress and open research, we'd still like to share our approach and, where feasible, explain our progress and how we've chosen to address and implement many of the broader rendering, persistence, and technical challenges that will ultimately enable various aspects of Earth 2's metaverse to become a reality. One of the most exciting development areas for Earth 2 is our advanced terrain rendering engine, which is relevant for our longer-term Phase 3 implementation plans and is a major focus of our 3D open-world developmental roadmap. It will not only support real-time, photorealistic terrain and environment rendering on a large scale, but also accurately reflect our real-world's topology and locations. In order to achieve this, we've developed a high-performance proprietary rendering pipeline that integrates both height map data with clip mapping and is something we've been looking to enhance with the use of satellite imagery data. When looking into this, our R&D team soon discovered a number of reasons why the direct utilization of a real-world satellite imagery data set would not be practical or even substantial enough for application within the Earth-2 metaverse. Some of the reasons for this being the inconsistency with image quality and resolution because satellite imagery varies drastically in quality depending on the location around the globe. Exposure and white balance also vary, causing resolution changes and artifacts to appear inside the satellite imagery itself. The presence of shadows becomes problemsome when images contain self-shadowing from mountains, as well as clouds. The inconsistency in lighting and perspective, as lighting conditions vary drastically based on the time an image was photographed, a problem further enhanced when images are taken from different angles, resulting in perspective distortion. Man-made structures also present an obvious issue as satellite imagery displays many such structures in populated areas, cities and agricultural areas being the biggest contributing factors. We want Earth 2 to begin as a pristine and untouched virtual version of our Earth. The sheer size of the data means that even if we did manage to resolve all these issues across the entire data set, working out ways to stream the many terabytes of information would likely create things like streaming artifacts and inevitably consume bandwidth and slow tile loading. Therefore, while researching ways to work around these issues and striving to retain the beauty and variety that satellite imagery provides to virtual terrains, we came up with this solution. What you see in this video is a prototype solution in which we are synthesizing satellite data on the fly without any form of direct reliance on costly oversized imagery data. This becomes evident while using our new, recently researched and developed parametric and procedural approach. As you can see, we can change the look of the terrain in real time at scale as we please, while relying on height map data for the visuals. We are, in fact, able to derive a lot of useful information from the height data alone, such as surface detail, steepness, and curvature. To simulate the look of different geographical areas, we use something called biome indexing. Biomes are a way to classify large areas based on climate patterns, temperature, soil types, vegetation, and wildlife. Basically, this allows us to have different visual parameters displayed in real time at different locations. Some of our existing biome parameters consist of forest color, coverage, and height range, which combine to define the tree line, ground foliage, grass and shrubs coverage, color, and height range, snow height, and coverage based on curvature, and we have many more we look forward to displaying in the future as well. Our artists are working on optimization of the parameters for each biome and programmatically compare the results with reference satellite imagery data. In this video, we also chose to animate a terrain height offset with static height based parameters like sea level and snow height ranges to display just how versatile our solution is. Layered on top is an early version of our atmospheric rendering solution, which we'll describe in more detail during a subsequent vlog entry. It's worth mentioning that the shader used to produce this graphical effect is only responsible for visualizing Earth from long range distances. For short range viewing, We'll be blending our newly developed technology with a close-up, detailed rendering system. In fact, an upgraded version to the one we've showcased in the past. Please keep in mind that what you see here is a work in progress being developed as a proof-of-concept prototype by Earth 2. While it already looks fantastic, 
we're only showcasing an area of roughly 600,000 square kilometers. The progress and results so far are very promising, and our dev team is heavily focused on delivering a version that's fully operational on a global scale soon, which will be a significant step toward releasing new opportunities for interaction and gameplay on Earth 2. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dev vlogs to come.